Hello, so this is Zara Northover coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan. I have another poem to share with you today. I don't have a title, so help me out. Listen and let me know what you think. I went to sleep in the light and woke up in the dark. I closed my eyes to live, then opened them to dream. And what appeared to be a fall in reality was for my rise. Doubt tried to paralyze me, but faith sent me on a ride. I repeat this to myself day after day. I fight to hold on, but my mind goes astray. Who am I and where have I gone? This journey just feels far too long. Long suffering they call it. Pain is just the price. My body wants to stop, but I don't know how to stop this fight. The smile hides my tears. My words hide my thoughts. He gave me this gift. I will not call it a curse. I stare at the walls and minimize my interactions. No matter how much less, more comes to find me. Will I follow the sign to go straight or take the next turn to what appears to be right? Neither is the answer, for I will follow his light. This is my destiny. Heaven is my fate. Ministry is my purpose. Blessings are mine to claim. Victory is assured, but it's not guaranteed to be easy. Left, right, up, and down. I'm circling the path. I'm going round and round. This camera is recording every step of the way. I walk with my Bible, but I still need his help. I walk with my Bible, but I still need his help. I walk with my Bible, but I still need his help. I am protected by the shield, sword, and armor of God, but my eyes refuse to read. My arms often go numb. I move forward and feel the drift back. I am ahead of where I was, so I have to give thanks. Thank you for your grace. I am grateful for your love. Please don't let me go. These feelings I just don't know. I watch, but I can't help. My focus is unstable. This place where I am, only Jesus can save me. I admit I have failed, but I will try again. I have fallen short of your glory. This is only part of my story. Jesus, I am worthy, so forgive me I have sinned. I praise you at all times, and I am made in your image. The flesh on my bones, they have weakened in my decisions. My heart has not changed. My life is still yours. Thank you, Lord, for my space beside you on your throne. I won't stop now, for this life shall soon end. I chose the road less traveled because I am moving in faith. There you have it. That is a poem I wrote yesterday because I have been going through some things, and I'm sure other people out there are going some things too. And I'm battling myself right now. Major decisions are coming my way, um, trying to figure out what's next, but... Through it all, I can guarantee you this. No matter my mistakes, no matter my downfalls or shortfalls or doubts, I trust God. And I try to tell myself and remind myself of this daily. I surround myself with positive people. I speak to my pastor. I reach out because that is the only way we will really be able to get through this. Because the Lord uses people around us to help us and to build us up. So don't doubt yourself and don't be ashamed to reach out for help. I'm here for you. Someone's out there that is, is there for you. So reach out, love one another, share your stories, and uplift. Because moving in faith is all about chasing your dreams, fulfilling your purpose, God's purpose for your life, because he has plans for us all to prosper and not to fail. Thank you and have a blessed day.